Hi everyone. Okay, so I've been trying to make this video now for going on like an hour and it keeps saying that it's too long or it says that YouTube is not available. So I'm going to try one more time. I want to update everybody about my dad. Those of you that follow me on Twitter and my friends that I email back and forth with know I almost lost my dad this week. He had several heart attacks. He, the doctor told me we were this close to losing him. He's doing much better. He's home. He's his old cranky self. He looks great. He's got color back in his cheeks. And Thursday we go to Spokane and they're going to, I believe, put a pacemaker in. Anyway, he's doing great and I just want to thank you for asking about him and thank you for the well wishes. Um, Lori, thank you for your sweet note. I, I got it. I just haven't had a chance to reply, but I will. Um, I know this week has just been, uh, it, 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 to me, it's just, my heart just aches. It's just a heartbreaking, you know, with the national news and then the things I've been dealing with in my own personal life and Everybody I know has deal issues that they deal with, um, and I just, I don't know, it's a crazy world that we're in. Anyway, I just want everybody to know he's doing good. He's, um, like I said, he's got his color back. Here a couple of months ago, I told my brother that I was really worried about him because he just had this gray, like, Pallor, you know that when pe older people they just have that gray coloring and Jim my brother doesn't see him every day and he said well he just doesn't get out all that much but really he goes at he goes out every day that's one thing my dad is very active and my mom uh, my mom likes to sleep in she sleeps till noon so, and my dad gets up early, and he knows I get up early. He comes to my house, and he sits here, and I hate to say this, he drinks coffee and smokes cigarettes. He sits in my dining room, and I've got two windows in here that I open, and like, and then he'll close them. It's like, you know, and there's no telling him no. He can't smoke in my house. There's no telling him to go outside. You know, it's all I can do to sneak to get a window open. At least he won't be doing that anymore. But the whole point is he does go every day. He goes somewhere. But I'm just glad that he's got his normal coloring back. And there will be no more smoking at my house. He's going to have to find a different house to do that. And he probably will. Anyway, um, so that's what's been going on. I did not do a Fifty Shades of Sunday video. There will not be any more Fifty Shades of Sunday. I think that's so last year. I loved the name at the time, but I just think it's... Uh, there's a new uh, series in the works. It's myself and another person, and I would invite anybody who wants to wear their nail polish, anybody who has nail polish that is, um, I know on like Makeup Alley, they call it untrieds. Um, if you have nail polish in your collection that you have never worn, but you want to wear it, and if you want to participate in our new series, please let me know. I don't know if that's making sense or not, but um, I don't know all the details yet. It's going to be really fun, the part that I do know. And I think if you do decide to participate, you will have lots of fun doing it. And I've always said I want to wear my nail polish. I don't want to hoard it. I don't want to collect it. 
and I do have a long list of untrieds polish that I have not worn. And the reason being, if I see polish on sale, like recently, the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure, you, you guys all know that was on sale for $1.79 at Walgreens. Those are normally $7.49, so that big of a discount, I'm buying two or three, maybe ten, you know. So I do have a long list of polish that I have not worn. So this is going to be a fun way to do that. So if you're interested and you want to join us, just let me know. And as the details become clearer, we'll all work it out. Um, one of the things, too, the other gal that she's the one that came up with this great idea. It's going to be so much fun. You know, to film the nail, like, video, it's like a nail of the day type of a thing. It doesn't have to be filmed on Sunday or, and we might not even do it Sunday. I think Sunday is a good time to do it, to post it. But you could film it on a Wednesday. You could film it on a Friday night and just upload it on Sunday. So... Think about it, and if it's something that you're interested in, let me know. I think it'll be a lot of fun, and especially with the new year coming, it'll be fun to have this new series. Um, and I think that's about it. I don't really... Oh, I do have one thing I want to ask you. I am nearsighted. I wear glasses all the time. These are my glasses. I live in these glasses. When I get up in the morning, I put them on. I take them off when I go to bed. They're Chanel glasses. I've had them for three years. They're um, getting loose. And I need a new prescription. I can see up close. So there's a lot of this with my glasses. If I'm... At the grocery store shopping, I need to wear my glasses so I can see what part of the store I'm in. But if I pick something up to look at it, I take my glasses off to be able to see what it is. I come home with the weirdest things from the grocery store because I don't take them off to read to see exactly what it is. I found a pair of glasses that I'm thinking about making them my everyday glasses. And I want to know what you guys think about them. They're these Oscar de la Renta sunglasses. And they're great sunglasses. And they have this gold detail. But envision this as clear. I mean, what do you think for um, everyday glasses that I wear 99.9% .9 of the time? Like, and the thing I like about these, they go up on my head easy because there is a lot of that. But I don't know, is it a little junior soprano looking? They are great sunglasses, though. I did find a pair of great sunglasses. I'm going to have my prescription put in these. These are by Franco Sarto. And I think these are great sunglasses. I'm going to do these for prescription sunglasses. This Franco Sarto... Uh, Back in the 70s, I used to buy, he was a great shoe, Italian shoemaker. And anytime Nordstrom got in a new pair of Franco Sarto shoes, the Nordstrom Southway would call me because it was on my way home. And I would stop in and get his shoes I had. I wish I would have kept all of them. There's kind of a gold little detail there. But I think these are great sunglasses. These are too, but so I don't know. Tell me what you think. 
on the glasses, yes or no? Junior soprano? I'm kind of thinking that. Maybe I'll have two pair of fabulous sunglasses and keep looking for regular glasses. Anyway, that's all I've got for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And again, think about that. Think about participating in our uh, nail polish project that we've got coming up. If you have a lot of polish that you in your collection that you haven't worn. Okay, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.